Epilepsy is a common chronic neurological disorder characterized by recurrent and proved seizures. About 50 million people worldwide have epilepsy with almost 90% in developing countries. However, over 30% of people with epilepsy do not have seizure control, even with the best available medication. In Kenya, the condition is not taken seriously by both the medics and the general public, despite the fact that many people are victims of the condition. Speaking when receiving epileptic youth from Netherlands, the director for the Youth on the Move organization, Karin Ossum, said there is need for the Ministry of Health to have a special program to assist those living with this condition. The, the, the misunderstanding on epilepsy. Many people don't know what it is and uh, therefore they undertake the wrong actions, like going to a witchcraft doctor, uh, going for special prayers, instead of going to the doctor to get the right prescription. Carol urged the media to be on the forefront in educating people about the condition as epileptic people are at times seen as outcasts in society. Also with their presence here, we hope it will attract the attention of the media so that people know that it's really urgent, it's really something to work on. It's not only HIV AIDS, which is a threatening lives, also epilepsy, we really have to work on it. Majority of epileptic victims are never aware of the time the condition reoccurs, but mostly one experiences a seizure and recovers fully without any medical aid. During a seizure, it is advised to stay calm, take away sharp objects, place something soft under the head, loosen tight clothing around the neck, roll the person onto the side when jerking stops, and minimize embarrassment during recovery. It's a convulsive seizure, uh, then it's good to put something soft under the head and uh, to take, uh, take away sharp objects uh, um, and to avoid, the, uh, uh, like if it's, if it's on the middle of the road, of course you have to carry them on the side of the road. The group is also expected to meet the Minister for Health before heading back to Netherlands.